Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the mothership. A uh, quick announcement. I'm offering 50% off all of my services. You can check the description box. And this will be ongoing until the very last moment of this year. And I'm, I'm offering this um, just for you to take advantage of the option. Maybe some of you have been wanting to work with me. And this can also help you kind of propel through these next couple eclipse gateways and also the culmination of these um, energies we've been experiencing in 2020. Also, this is a chance to just help you kind of push the momentum of your twin flame journey forward. So I wanted to offer that to all of you guys as a thank you. Let's see what our messages are for today. The heart of the reading, you have the nine of spades and the jack of hearts. So for some of you, this is overthinking, overanalyzing, and even maybe staying up at night. You could be working hard. And also you have a brand new opportunity here. For some of you, this is maybe an incoming message, even from your twin. For others of you, this is kind of getting that emotional uh, restart. This can be even with yourself, like providing yourself the opportunity to go in the direction of your heart's desire. So there's a little bit of confliction and there needs to be a focus on your self love and dedication with the Nine of Swords here. For many of you, this is just getting grounded and focusing on your internal world. And that will help to create this shift, bringing you out of this um, overthinking. This could be anxiety as well. For some of you, this is anxiety that's keeping you up. So a shift in moving forward through your heart space and not worrying so much about um, even if you have been receiving communication or not, but this is really beginning to shift the focus to your own internal awareness and what you need to focus on and work on. Divine Feminine, today you have the Six of Clubs. This is also the Tower. You have the Three of Hearts, the Five of Hearts, reversed, and the Nine of Diamond, which is a Hermit card. So something may have awakened you. This can be anything. This can be news. This can be shocking information, shocking events. Whatever is coming in or has just recently happened, this is all about just shaking you up to awareness, sharpening yourself. And this is alluding to the realizations that you need to have right now. Sometimes we become complacent. Sometimes we just begin moving along with the flow of life, but there's actually an undercurrent that we need to be paying attention to. So whatever this clearing is, this is a purification coming in. This is going to help you have um, a more solid foundation in the future if you use the lesson wisely. For some of you, this is making you pay attention to what you really need. And what's needed here is to go within and work on yourself, work on your own healing, take that time out for yourself that you need to recharge your batteries, to rest, to rejuvenate yourself. And this is where you begin to really relax into your own being, allowing yourself to have what your soul needs. For many of you, this kind of reset is all about you getting in touch with your soul again and also in that energy of celebration for life, having joy, happiness, and you are becoming more aware of your emotions. And for some of you, you're also coming out of this phase of maybe feeling very emotionally drained, depleted, and even some of you have come through a dark night of the soul. So this is leading you into a space where you can be more open with your heart and lead your life forward with your heart and have that necessary healing. So for some of you, this is a new awareness of how to move from your heart. And this is moment to moment to moment. This is recognizing your soul's voice. And the way to achieve this is by getting quiet, getting internal 
and really listening to what your soul has to say, learning how to follow your soul. And also I would suggest that you check the description box for the free link. Uh, this is a site that can help you navigate your inner healing work. I'm always here to assist you as well if you want to book me. Uh, but this will help you to kind of bring that inner integration to your inner landscape. And that way, when these tower moments come through, it won't be so shocking. You'll have more of like enlightenment and epiphanies rather than feeling like your whole foundation is shook. So do follow that link. And I would encourage you to complete lessons one through seven from that site. Uh, Divine Masculine, do remember both polarities exist in all of us, masculine and feminine, and so both sides of the reading apply to you. You have the King of Diamonds today, the Jack of Spades, you have the Ten of Diamonds, and the Nine of Clubs, which is also the Sun card in this deck. So you may be a provider, you may be having a lot to take care of. Uh, for some of you, I'm even seeing a reference to landscaping. So this could be beautification, whether over yourself, your home, your work environment. Uh, for some of you, this is rebalancing the structure of your life in a way that's pleasing. And for some of you, this is directly related to your home and property. And for some of you, you may even be looking for a new direction. For some of you, this is about moving as well. Um, there's some changes happening maybe in your family structure. And this is also kind of, this could be new information or new communication. And this is also a blessed time where you will have abundance, you'll have a fresh start. But there may be a little bit of having to choose between your comfort zone and your ultimate happiness. So keep that in mind, but you do have an abundance of happiness and joy and rebirth coming into your life right now. Let's get a few more cards. Divine Masculine, you also have the Six of Bows and the Blasted Oak reversed. So the Six of Bows is a double confirmation here about uh, that abundance coming in. This is balance. This is working hard and being dedicated to your passion. This is achievements. This is realizing your goals by following what's true to you, following what makes you blissful and happy, following your joy. So you also have the Blasted Oak Reverse. So this is a combination of the Tower card and the Hangman card in traditional tarot. And this may be a time of suspension for you where you have to wait and change your perspective on things. But the message here is because it's reversed, it's um, maybe feeling like things aren't really as bad as they seem. And you do have the sun card coming in. So some of these energies are beginning to clear up and you may be getting more clarity as your, per your perception has been shifting. So this is new awareness. Divine Feminine. You have the Knight of Arrows reversed. So again, a need to go within, and I like to call it checking your voicemail. This is where you check in with your internal guidance, uh, your divine guidance team, and really go over what is necessary for you at this time. This is opening yourself up to receive all messages. For some of you, you may just be wanting to hear from even a particular individual, and maybe that communication is not happening right now. But this is where you... Communicate with the inner depths of your own being. You also have the Nine of Arrows. So this is the same as the card at the heart of the reading. And this is where you have to be tenacious and uplift yourself by being very dedicated to your cause, your purpose. This is what's going to pull you through this energy. And when you refocus yourself in this way, this is where you'll begin to complete these cycles that you're coming out of and bring closure to even some karmic cycles and lessons where you'll be able to then move on to your next new beginning. So it's very necessary right now to take that time. I was going to say time out, but it's actually time in. Time in with yourself. 
internal timing, internal synchronization. So let's get a few guidance cards. These are the thir 13 Moonstone Cosmic Terra Oracle cards that I created. You can get those as a workbook. Also, you can check the description box for my other two channels where you can find more DMDF readings and also other types of readings you might be interested in, you might resonate with. All right, Divine Masculine, you have Manifest. So this is not only working with your intent, but maybe clearing that channel so that you can really have the energy you need to direct towards what you want to manifest. Manifestation happens by your attention. So this also has to do with uh, cleansing yourself and clearing out any place within you that's pre-programmed to the opposite of what you want and also clearing up any misalignments with your soul path and just cleaning up those places where you might have limited yourself so this also asks you what tools you're working with, and this is where you're also allowing your skill and precision of your natural talents to shine, and where you're bringing your light into the world. This is also confirmation of your twin flame path. heart of the reading today you have allow so again this has to do with becoming that clear channel where you're aligned not only in your energy field but also with your soul's path some of you might also find benefit in the empath course I created it's followed by keys to your energetic integrity and that will give you a complete toolkit of how to work with your energy field and to deepen your skills of manifestation so this is creatively engineering your destiny by allowing the full light of abundance to penetrate every cell of your being. So this is also doing that cellular healing. We have a fourfold body system, so you have to take into account the four levels of where you need to heal yourself. Divine Feminine, today you have Create. So this is getting into the beautification of your internal landscape, getting that inspiration from within. And also this is that remembrance that bliss surrounds you. So these creative and divine energies are always available at every moment. All you have to do is tap into them. And this is also being connected to that great cosmic law of always having what you need always having the ever-flowing abundance and universal support at every moment. This is also attracting in your highest wishes and being open. And if any of you happen to have a yes or no question, the answer is yes here. 